do a bit of a test here. Go to Twitch on my phone. Go here. Do you want to test, test, test? Yep, that sounds pretty good. Ugh. And let's mute myself before we heal. Here's some echoes. All right. So Pikmin 4 is coming out soon. I still need to finish Pikmin 3, so I'll get around to Pikmin 4 eventually. But the demo is available, and I would like to try it out. I, I hear the demo is about three to four hours. So. <laughs> Very beautiful. Pikmin 4! I probably won't worry about the Dandori battle thing. So, so I thought this was like part of the thing. Put your planning skills to work and manage the clock in the fears competition that can be enjoyed solo or with two players. I thought this was like something that had to be done in the story, so I'm guessing not. Rescue shipwreck castaways on an uncharted planet with the help of your Pikmin in this epic adventure. If you complete this demo, you can receive special rewards in, a smart, in the smart device app Pikmin Balloon. Wow, oh, I don't really play that, so... The demo version is complete once you collect 1,500 units of spark lenium and finish exploring for the day. You can port your save data from the demo to the full game. Okay. Look at that. Play two players. I wonder if they'll... Well, I guess they won't. Well, uh, they could do that for Pikmin 2, but... Pikmin 1, I don't think they could, but that'd be cool if you could do two players on both Pikmin 1 and 2 for the Switch versions. Because um, I don't... I could be wrong, but I don't think Pikmin 3 on the Wii U, I don't think the story had co-op. But I could be wrong about that. I know in the Switch version it does, but it's the deluxe version, so... Captain Olima. Captain Olima. Wind, wind, Kero, Nuru, the door pin. So I'm confused. Is Pigment 4 a reboot of the original game? How is ultimately rescued? I mean, that looks like his original <laughs> ship. I mean, yeah, that's what happened in the first game. Carrying 
That's the dog. Because the dog wasn't in the first game. It's like a retelling of the first game or something. Windows Bara, Rivali Kevna. into someone's house. I tell you, if the Pikmin fairy about how the game takes place after, like, the events of the end of the world, I mean, this house is pretty well kept <laughs> for end of the world events. Tip real quick. Can I move? Oh, we're on the dog. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it sort of looks like his ship. There's, it feels like there's still ship missing now. From the first game, it's pretty banged up still though. I press A to do that. I don't see any monsters. Let's see. Hold down to take aim. Like this. Interesting. What are you motherfuckers doing? Checking this out. Seventy six number seventy six of strange Pikmin behavior. Interesting. I guess blue went off somewhere else. So what happens if we... Oh shit. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, there's blue. Oh, there's some blue. Some yellow. It's like pigment all over the place. Oh, 
all over this house. Like fun though. Forgot though. Oh, oh. And there's the ship part. Just like that. Huh? And then Louie comes to the rescue. Playing that's like a curse to go on to. We've had four sh different ships try to go here. And just boom. But technically, the second ship didn't really crash in the beginning, but it did have problems. I guess with some time between Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 3. By emergency protocol, officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corpse is now top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Oh, I get to create my character. Um... Let's 
photography. We'll go. Sure, which one I like the most. Tie between that one and this one. I think I this one. There's the, hair, the hairstyle. I think we're gonna go with this. Oh, I didn't have it. Color blue green kind of matches with the suit. We'll probably end up changing that. Go you know, blue. Maybe blue on blue. Yeah. I don't know if there was any other customization options, but this is this is good for now. Okay. Beautiful. A friend. Planet Gyra. So wait, is this what we call Earth in this Gyra? The young, loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Okay, so wait, you no, know, no, Gyra is from a different thing. So the so I guess the dog is. Like, I don't know where the dog's from, but, well, it says Jaya, but, okay, so this, this planet is so far unknown, so, found the rescue pup, so he's, like, part of our team, okay, cool. He's dead. You found someone in need of rescuing. Uh. 
Who the fuck is this guy? Thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Itachi found and rescued me together. Itachi? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Itachi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Hector. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. Okay, yeah. So they're all from the same planet, I guess. As the Rescue Corps comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. <laughs> My path got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Dave Mio, isn't it? Well, hey. I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, Ale. well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. What happened? Oh? I have no idea. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. Oh, no. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, Landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded, stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap up to on the left side. There's an open review of your missions. Okay. Oh, you get it. The version is 20.0.0 or 0.1, um, which would be 2001, which was the year that the first Pikmin game came out. Uh, rescue the Rescue Corps. I have some of the other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. Hello? For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Okay. Alrighty, uh, badges. History and stats, radar map. Look how big this is. Jesus. So I only got two, three. Got three people that sort of have a scan, and then there's two mystery people, and then there's Olimar. Oh, they're from different home planets. Okay. Because I'm from planet Karut. So. Interesting. Pretty. Now then, let's go to the SS Shepard. <laughs> that ship landed pretty well. <laughs> there she is, the SS Shepard. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. No? You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. The planets on the planet are gigantic. Always make sure you're safe using R, blah, blah, blah. Oh, got some underground shit. 
Look, that's it. See the big hole in the ground? Over there. If, on if only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. <laughs> or you hey. just climb. Big boy. This is the perfect job for rescue pup. They're known to be great diggers. Good pup, Atachi. You're making easy work of all of that. Almost there. Oh, yay. and see the screen. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corpse pride and joy. Huh? This looks just like the other hole we saw. Whoa. Well done, Atachi. I wonder if these two holes are somehow detected underground. It looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. For real? Rescue officer must act with courage in the face of any danger. Though it does look pretty dark down there. Oh. So I like how they brought the underground back from uh, Pikmin 2. It seems like they took like everything from like uh, the last three Pikmin games. Yeah, this is cool. Hey, what is it, Itachi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here? Perhaps, but where? No? Hello? Oh, shit. Oh my, what a place to find the captain. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of the rescue corps team. Look sharp, Damio. The captain comes from a long line of, oh, this is no time of history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Okay, well. Wow. Dead. Yeah. Nice. Phew, now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you, if you don't remember. Did you order Itachi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Damio? Huh? Itachi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Client Gaia. Shepard. A 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by the rescue pup as a child, sparkling a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. 
Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what are you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around the cave trying to find an exit when I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on. Did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered the cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Dave Mio. Copy that is the rescue corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Copy that. Copy that. Very good. Excellent reply. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps re Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. <laughs> Rescue Journal. This is where you'll find advice left by captains both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom <laughs> they will share will guide you as well. Okay then. No. You'll be able to rescue them via your tablet, and you'll need arises so when the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Itachi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both. I see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. I'm not gonna read that dialogue. There. That's where I fell in. My word, to think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Just this vent system. What? Excuse me, Dave Mio. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. Yamo? I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of the cave. Mm. Alright, Captain. The rescue corpse flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. Relocated and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Oh. Noted. Then let's consider this investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Dave Mio and Natachi. I guess we're going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Okay. Colin, you look different since last time I saw you. Did you do something new to you with your hair? Pikachu. I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Tomorrow. Of course. And good for you. You did it. Oh. Well, here she is. The SS Shepherd. Looks like a frost between like a vacuum and some kind of container. Uh, is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? 
I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine ha had overheated yeah, huh. and that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Oh no. Will it be okay? Well, hey. It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. Oh, no. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Yeah. Not necessary. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. Number 31. Found treasures. I found treasures. After through investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparkillium. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Surroundings. Rush. He's got some kind of sun badge. Oh, must be their profession. In layman's terms, we're fucked. <laughs> we should be able to extract sparkling from sparkling objects that we find on this planet, convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real-life treasures. I'm skeptical. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So, for, so from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. Secure energy source, 300. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepard. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. Hey. For now, we can use the SS Beagle. We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? Oh, go any closer. Watch out! It's so shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good, our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Wouldn't that count as treasure? It sparkles. There's treasure. It's a Game Boy Advance SP! Is this what I think it is? <laughs> this is... This has to be treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, rookie. Press to open the radar map. I'm trying, but it ain't working. All oh, plus. Oh, we got a sparkle over there, too. The presence of Sparkium confirmed that the star in the center represents the treasure. 
From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. So we got treasure there. We got treasure there. I don't see any other treasure. Excellent work. I'm going to take this assumption start um, as a good sign. But um, how are we going to move it? Get out of the way! Oh, fuck! Game Boy. Advance uh -huh. SP. They went all out on this bitch. That was so close. Oh. oh. What's th this? Oh, wow. Is it a treasure? Looks like we got all the time we need for this, so... Oh, that's just red onion. Oh, shit. moved I don't think it's a treasure what could it be it looks like it looks kind of like a plant could this be the that thing Captain Almar wrote about in his log voyage or voyage log whatever he called it an onion if this is an onion then what is that sprout it's a murder Red Pikmin. I don't I don't know if they'll let us use any other Pikmin or not, but we'll see. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Omar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Well, well. Or then maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. The captain's pretty afraid. <laughs> Look at that, Tachi's already bonding with this pink or with the pinkman. You should introduce yourself as well. And uh Captain, how long are you gonna intend to hide back there? At least the teams have got as much time as we need. <laughs> what? More sprouts? That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. Um. What a mysterious life form. Hello? Bitches ain't gonna help. Here 
Sparks has uh, won the carry one too. Anymore. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniatures objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. We collect 250 more units of Sparkelium. We may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on Sparkelium Sparkelium alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. Yep. We collected some fork. What is that? Some kind of bell or something. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination, Damio and Natachi. Thanks a bunch. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. The pigmen are very obedient. They move and work like a tiny rescue pups. Now it's the time to extract the energy from the treasure. Gets this is do Durka Durka. <laughs> Get started right away, Colin. Energy from treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. A Game Boy Advance. Our ship is powered by Game Boy Advance and a fork and whatever the other thing is. The SS Shepard is running. Yeah. We did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we pick up any signals. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. 
They could be coming from the lost rescue officers and even Captain Alomar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get to rescuing. Day one. Yeah. Huh? Hatch crater. The stone of advancement. That's crazy. I was worried when I saw the smoke billing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I'd been roughing it for roughing it for long enough. And there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. Okay. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin. We have no idea how long we'll be stuck here on the planet. Oh, uh -huh. I hope we're not getting fruit again. <laughs> I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Wow. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon. So you and Atalchi need to eat and get lots of rest, Amio. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Can you go? Oh! Yeah. I don't think it really matters. Rescue mission, day two. So we did. We never left the planet. We just kind of stayed here. That's so neat. All right. I guess this is everyone. I call the strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup has been recovered thanks to the efforts of Dave Mio. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepard is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue the rescue of Captain Almar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers, Damio Itachi. Fly to the area with the radar picked up, there's distress signals and try to track down your missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide a direction and guidance from here. Well, hey. Don't worry, we'll be able to be we'll be available via the SS Shepherd wireless communication at all times. You'll have our full support. I would typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Tachi by your side. You two make a great team. Uh -huh. Captain, what about the search for Captain Omar? Should we officially put it on pause? Uh -huh. No. We may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list just in case. Uh -huh. On that note, I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. <laughs> Copy that. Rescue Olimar. Da, 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 da. Collect 1500 units of Procurium and finish the day to complete the demo. Afterward, you can receive rewards. Okay, well, this is something we already know. So the day doesn't seem to end until, um, you know. No, no, no. Come back. <laughs> Fifteen out of twenty. Yeah. 
Yeah, this game seems very polished over Pikmin 3. So what happened? Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on the life signs from the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. Interesting. I'm sure it's still feeding it, though. Okay, what do you want to talk about? You'd be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field. So check them out when you have spare minute. Ready. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Yeah. Which area would you like to explore? Uh, I guess there. Wait, hold on. I want to get make sure I got all these guys. Here. Yeah, well, we'll get to that in a second. So I guess I can only have 20 with me right now. That's a little different. Okay, well, I'm ready to explore now. I'm ready to explore. I guess the ship just follows. Awesome. Okay, so we're just exploring different areas. Oh, the onion's going too. Well, I would hope so. Kind of need it. Oh, looks like we might find another color here. They'll probably, they may introduce another pigment type for the demo. Like ice or something. Oh, this is huge. It's like someone's garden. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one place, or one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. Also, oh, there is a uh, thing. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen. It's set up the right hand where we reach the rightmost ledge. Sets it. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Copy that. We're counting on you. So this could take a few days. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion... Everybody used the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. Aww. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. Yeah. Come back. Hello, hello. Honey. No, shit. God damn it. Thank you. 
It's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it, it might be useful. I'll check out Captain Almer's voyage log. One can make the raw material for simple for a simple stone, but it is more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes marble. I should be able to find many applications for it. Okay. Come on. I'm a fair hand with ma machines, but I don't know much about materials and science. If we had our scientist back, I bet he'll be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. We'll, he'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Eat that. Okay, well, let's figure out where we want to go. I guess we'll go to the right first. There's some shininess. Come in, Damio. I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Itachi to help with it comes to searching for the rescue officers. <laughs> he has a sharp scent to smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Okay. Use Y to open the actions, blah, blah, blah. To begin with, command Itachi and pick up a scent. You never know where. No, 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 no. Okay. You look a little confused. Have you never heard of the term Dandori before? Dandori is an arc of organization task and strategy to work in maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it is still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Or don't take it to heart. Embracing in the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for the rescue officers to get things started. Uh, Tachi and Sniff Mission Cameras. Okay. Man. Pick up a scent. Okay, let's go. There's a cave here, too. This area is crawling with creatures. Rescue officers could have retreated onto the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. I wonder if there may be coordinates. Yep, here it is. I entered the cave. Well, I have a feeling we're going to get introduced to Ice Pikmin. That's the Beagle can bring the Pikmin so you can enter the cave without stopping. Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return to them to the Onion for the time being. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't quite understand that. <laughs> I can't believe they'll let you explore a cave without Pikmin.
not all. Good boy, Itachi. He's picked up the castaway scent. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. So, like... Well, we got all the time we want in here, so I'm just curious to see how this works. How does this work? Oh, it's just like in Pikmin 2. Because the monsters in Pikmin 2, if in underground, they counted as money as well. Okay. That's cool. second. Neat. I got nectar. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That substance is called nectar. When pigmen consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. Are? They really are mysterious creatures. Poor thing frozen. Ooh. Maybe it'll respond with a whistle. Good. Oh, oh, oh goodness. So we got ice cream. Huh? Are those Pikmin too? Let's see. The voyage log says, I always fought the Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. Their bodies are made of ice. Who knew that something frozen could move around like that, it's incredible. Yeah, it's different. Yellow pigment. Is 
Does it look like? Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? It's either yellow or white. Chew his way for this one. Maybe too heavy. Look at you. Huh? This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it to the other onion. like that, frozen solid. I bet now you can break it. We sure can. So far, this is fun. Huh? That seems like a lot of pigmen. Is in your is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have larger squad because the wild pigmen you find will join you. Okay. That's everyone there. Just check the map. Yep. Everyone seems okay. Away. Hurry and check his, their vitals, pulse, blood pressure, temperature. All within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We should tr just transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. did it. Let's take a look and see what the ID badge tells us. Hey, this is...
It's Russ. An inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Hi. Oh, thank the stars, he's all right. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits and the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during the rescue mission. We found the scientist. All right. Over here. Right. Got like a compass, some kind of paste. figure out if we either got yellow pinkman or white pinkman slash poison pinkman because judging by the icon for pinkman 4 white and purple pinkman are back i'm sure i synchronized your clock hey man but something's off I can't get really the difference. It looks as about one sixth as much time has passed on the surface as you spent underground. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. Whoa. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Sounds great. Hey, the onion sucked it up. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called a cleric. If we bring the cleric back to the onion, it will increase the number of pigment it releases onto the surface at any time by 10. Oh, that's all it was. Never mind. Well, that, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more pigment. Oh. I can't. <laughs> I already have the max. Okay, well. Let's see what we're Because there's no way we can get that. So. That's for me. Ah, ultra spray. Makes him super strong. I believe that's the ultra spray nectar that was mentioned in the Voig log. Keep that sample sealed up in a bottle so you, it won't spill no? in your pack. There's a decent amount of ultra spray essence there. It should be useful. Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Yeah. Hello, hello. Back. Okay. That's something, I guess. I can figure out which way I want to go. Yeah, we can 
probably use more ice anyways. Don't just stand there, now she can't. No shit. Oh, we can get this. I'm gonna get some Pikmin back now. here yet. I get this or no? I don't think I can get over there yet. Maybe we can. I don't know. We're definitely going to spend a couple days here, I think. We can go for here, but... I don't know. Maybe. Hey, look at that.
Yeah, no shit. I'm gonna try to fall. Help, G. I know all, uh, all about that. <laughs> It just kind of exploded. Again, I looks like I'm going to need yellow pink men. Oh shit! Plot or something in the ground, yeah, right here. I don't know, maybe it might be too much for him. I think he's getting it. Getting it is definitely little by little. Yeah, yeah, he did it. this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put in some good use if it was finished. Huh? Another circle of stones? We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Almar left them behind for us so we could track him oh. down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if if we're in the creature's territory. We should create a, a base here. Any Dory master would tell us it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature. So... Okay, yeah. I think they're all back at base. 
Look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to base before it gets dark. According to Captain Armor's word log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin is, are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. get in the short amount of time. Pigment could go for there. Got seventy red, ten eyes. Oh, I forgot to start reading this. That may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intrusive to use in the event of emergency. Well, hey. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if you came across any icy rocks like this before oh, yeah. you found you? Kihi, oh, Colin, 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 not only did I see them, I already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks be become sort of malleable and can be shaped in any form yeah. you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one, the ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printers so we can put this mir miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. <laughs> It'll be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise. What, what a spectacular update, Russ. I knew, I knew bringing along a material scientist would be key to our success. 
Starting tomorrow, I'll expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual the, right now that you're here. All right. Day three. Wait, is it just me, or did Atoshi go through the growth spurt overnight? That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. Cute. Pikmin sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Atoshi's come into his zone. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Right? Another benefit of Atoshi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. From the looks of it, Atoshi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. Alright, officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. The ball. I can call the strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Hehehe, <laughs> it would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done. The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected and, and find into all-purpose clay. With this function, we can now be able to easily build on a location. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. Probably the bridge. One last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items f for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while out in the field. Sounds like we're not collecting, not only collecting treasures, but raw material too. And don't forget about our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Damio and Itachi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Satoshi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about these out here. I think we got enough plants. This is the lab. Mm -hmm. Allow me to introduce my myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of the Rescue Corps operation. I use raw materials to find any of my homemade components to create all kinds of items gear for the use in the field. Sure, let's visit the lab. I can probably state that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could even say I have it down to a science. Ha! Huh. In exchange for raw material, I'll provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. Side missions. All right, got 82 of these motherfuckers. Charging horn. Oh, like in the first game. These are for me, I think. Yeah. Quest is complete. Neat. Okay, cool. Hehe, <laughs> I'd love to take the opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the charging horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press X to blow on the horn once you order your pigment to charge. If you press X once, you'll only your selected pigment or Itachi will charge. But keep pressing X and the entire squad will charge. 
as you can see, this horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You could even call it Dantori Dynamite. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just explore. The captain's quite excited to talk to you about Talchi's growth spurt. You should go see what she has to say. And Russ has something to discuss with you as well. Feel free to put off your departure until you have a chance to speak with them both. Well, okay then. Ah, uh, there you are. Danger is a constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I'll teach you in Atalchi just might save you. As long as you and Atalchi keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you're ready because it's time to start your training. I'd like to train. Alright. All right, it's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt you two can handle it. Oh, oh my goodness. The rescue pup training Crickleum has been passed down through many generations. If a Torchy's pup drive has built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. <laughs> As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you two want to take. Go to the buff path you want to carry heavy things, or go to chomp path if you're taking the creatures in your priority. But keep proper Dantori practices in mind and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties efficiency. Okay. Oh, what does this do? The skill increases Atochi's healing power. When he's injured, he'll recover. Can we do this? I don't think he has any more. No. Dig learn. Okay, well, it's just shit that he already knows. It just it makes him more advanced, so... Great work, Katachi. I've got you. I've got just the reward for you. Going forward, every time you complete training, you'll get a scrumpy bone. Give it to Katachi as a reward for me. Okay. Well. Go get it. I think it increases his health. Command. Oh. Switch. Okay, well. Let's go explore now. We're all set over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Ready to explore. Which area would you like to explore? This is a long demo. Well, I think the demo does end after 1500. I could be wrong though. <laughs> I think that's what I read earlier. I need 13%. I mean, we only need less than a thousand. Assuming we get a thing that tells us how many of what is in each area. Okay. Come in, come in, over. As we discussed earlier, Tachi has grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on the jump scale. Tarshi should be able to move around more easily now, even when you are pigment aboard. Walk up close to the Tarshi and press Y 
Torchy and press Y to mount. Press it against this mount. Press X when you want a Torchy to use jump. He should have no problem clearing small edges. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit Pikmin with the rush launch the Pikmin on his back and have them land on your target. Using the jump will give you the access to blah blah blah. blah. So. Now let's get the Pikmin that we want out. Uh, let's start with uh, let's start with these 30 of these guys. Okay. Now let's ride. Another one of those. So. Oh. Still can't quite get up there, though. But in that case, um. Explore this. Someone or something has built a rough wall inside the cave. The pigmen and I were able to scramble up, but Moss was unable to climb up the wall. I'll have to leave her behind for now and hope we can find a way or a place to meet up. What's that what we call it? Moss? What the fuck is auto? I'll worry about that later. We're almost two hours in. These things. Oh, it's the stuff and material. Looks like more ice Pikmin, but we gotta get up to that point. That's good. This is more. Never mind. It's more ice. Oh no! Oh no! He can't fucking swim yet. Oh fuck! I thought they could make ice. Confused here. Wait, 
Why ain't he drowning? Definitely a little bit confused here. Maybe they'll teach us how that works. I believe we can turn this critical construction into a vital asset. We'll process raw material into clay at the SS Beagle and use it as a building material to finish the structure. These raw materials are able to available when brilliant minds give them higher purpose after all. Once your construction site, simply direct your pigmen and the told you to start building. Okay. Interesting. Construction of a climbing wall is finished. You can scurry right up this exper expertly crafted or yeah wall and explore whatever waits at the top of your heart's content. Oh, oh but since Atoshi isn't built for climbing, you'll want to find some place to meet back up with him. Okay then, well... I mean, I can't get in there, but I'm sure they can. Are you serious? You guys can fit for these bars. Hell, I can fit for these bars. <laughs> but I don't think... Okay, I don't know what the point of this is, then. I want to figure out real quick how does Ice Pinkman how does Ice Pinkman make makes you feel make halves on the water
Okay, so yeah. gone here yet. Jesus. Okay, well, that didn't help me. I feel like to make use of combined onion. It remains unclear if they have their own onion or not. Is that what you're going to tell me? When enough ice pigmen make contact with their body of water, it will freeze, allowing the player to travel. Okay. How do I, um... How do... Yeah, but I don't want a whole bunch there. I don't know how to uh, separate Pinkman right now, so. Shit. And can I make him go do something? telling you go in the water <laughs> even a brave pup like him gets scared sometimes don't push him well I don't want him to go I just want him uh, there's no way we would have been able to get this anyways I don't get it can they not can they swim or not yeah I don't think we can get this right now We're gonna have to wait until he's ready to start swimming. Okay, well. So we might have to come, we'll have to come back here at some other point in time. good treasure back there, but I don't think I can get him yet. Oh, we're still going through this. Never mind. Those who haven't eaten yet. Oh, 
shit. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think I can get up there yet. I don't even think we can rescue you yet, so... So, we'll have to come back here at some other point. Two hours in, man. I mean, that's still a lot. That gave us 703 from just the monsters. Strange how big enemies just kind of blow up. What's the problem? Oh, I see the pigmen won't follow you onto the surface. Yeah, there's a limit to how many and what types of pigmen you can have out on the surface at any one time, but don't worry about the rest when you choose which pigmen to take. Any remaining pigmen will go back to the onion with the SS Beagle. Uh, ten. Okay. Now let's go and explore. Now, can we build this from here, or no? Doesn't look like we can right now, so... can jump. There's another thing. Yeah, let's go ahead. until they get to the thing there. All right, let's see what this is. Thank you. 
To the great beyond. Go ahead and enter this. Gesture maze. The ground, it's started moving. I groped for a way forward, but I couldn't make any progress on my own. I wonder if Moss may be able to help me out of this mess. Industrial maze. <laughs> the dog is over there. Oh no, this isn't supposed to happen. Tochi's all the way over there. Captain, what's the protocol for a situation like this? You and Tochi need to find a rendezvous point, Dave Mio. Open Y actions and use the select to switch to, ex switch to explore as a Tochi. Well, we'll get around to that in a second. I want to explore, damn it. Come on. Interesting. There's no going here, so... I am the dog! And I see yellow pink men. Is this a new type of pinkman? I should check to see if Captain Almar's log says anything about them. The yellow pinkman. I've decided to call the yellow collared pinkman with large ear like appendages yellow pinkman. I like that name as a lot more than ear pinkman. They're resistant to electricity and they fly high when thrown. Plus, they are good at digging. Resistance to electricity. How unusual. What in the world are they made of? That sounds like a potentially useful quality, though. Just be careful how to deploy them. They aren't... There aren't that many. I'm not sure. Can we jump down there? We can. No, dog. There we go. See how this is going to work. See how smart they are. Okay, 
there. Something's blocking the pink bone. Thinking here. So what if I do this? Interesting. How do we get across? Yeah, I might have fucked something up. Sure, what to do? Maybe? That's fine. That might work. Uh oh, oh shit. It sort of works. Okay. Uh, that makes me feel a little bit better. Practice my jumping. I don't want to be a pigment too and throw pigment over the edge. Looks like. So now that we have yellow pink men, we can, uh, 
We should be able to get some of that higher up stuff. It's a nectar thingy. Ducky. It's like a drone. Did that cancel the one out up all the way up there. I can't tell. Has not. It did cancel this stuff here. Oh, well, we can do this now. Well, we should just be able to, uh, Should put us over a thousand, I would think. Okay, yeah, actually put us over eleven hundred. That's even better. That's on the other side. I think. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Okay. I don't think there's anything else of importance there, so... Be 
We should get this wrapped up in one more day. So if I would guess, the stream will be about another 30, 45 minutes. We, I think I can go back to the other cave real quick. I mean, I might do that towards the end of the day since that cave is kind of closer to the base. Who did we find? A treasure prizer. Shanoss? An acclaimed treasure prizer who's traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. Watch out. Hang on. This is no rescue officer. Who is this? And how did he get here? The ID shows that he's a treasure prizer. Appraiser, what's he doing on this planet? Hmm, I wonder. Do you remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Almar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all the way in search of treasure. Maybe they ended up like Captain Almar, too, shipwrecked and stranded. That's my hunch, anyway. I'd like to think this appraiser is the only one, but we should keep an eye out for more civi civilian castaways and be ready to rescue them, too. Chances are they're in danger. It's officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? As if we don't have enough work finding Captain Omar and the rescue corpse, there are also civ civilian castaways on the planet. Rescue any that you come across. Okay. I gotta find the way out of here. Oh, it's over here. Duh. Why didn't I just do that? I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, uh, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, um, let's go get that. So now we have yellow pigment. I think we can get that.
can apparently demolish that. The days seem very short in this. Might be able to do it today, but we'll see. out here okay uh, I'm not sure how how we would go by that Oh, we did it. So. Oh. On energy you've collected, we can now continue our reg registration of the SS Shepherd's radar. Well, we might as well just finish out the day, so.
I don't think we're gonna get that. I noticed you were looking at the radar map just now. Why don't you? I tell you how handy the function has. Honey. The system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas. If you go to that spot where the symbol disappears, it's very useful to keep a track of objectives. Okay. I don't care all about that onion over there. I ain't gonna worry about it too much. I don't think we can get it. Boy. Like, where are we? Right now we're going the wrong way. More fun. Maybe? I doubt it though. I think we can get this. He's still trying to catch up to him. Uh, well, I think you're good, buddy. That's kind of cool with the shows, you know, who could die if you don't. Demo is almost over if, if that's that number's correct. Yeah, this has been a fun demo. I think Pikmin 4 seems a bit promising. So. This area grows more as uh, time goes on. I like to get other things. Make a 
a record of that area right away, Colin. I yeah, I'm bad at sometimes skipping tags. Very nice. I'm so shocked that Captain Almar isn't the only castaway on this planet. He's probably the last person that you find. Well, Almar's SOS signal was transmitted across the entirety of outer space. So it's not. He said entirety of outer space. That means space ends at some point. So it's not completely unexpected that the message would capture the attention of adventure seekers and draw them here. Whoa. And as the rescue corpse, now it's our duty to rescue every last one of them. I love the enthusiasm. Of course, the more rescues we make, the more crowded the rescue command post will get. Colin, I need you to further develop and expand the rescue command post. Copy that, Captain. My list of job duties just keeps getting longer and longer. Neat. That should be it. You completed the demo. You can import completed it, save data into the full version of the game to, rece to receive a bonus gift there. Okay. And that's for Pigment Bloom, so I don't have that. You can send confirmation from the title screen to confirm that you've completed this demo. to the title screen. Okay, well, that was Pikmin 4 demo. I'm pretty excited to play this now. Like I said, I still gotta finish uh, Pikmin 3, so I'll probably get around to Pikmin 4 um, you know, sometime probably this fall. But, uh, but yeah, very excited. This game is very beautiful. Uh, so far, the controls are pretty good, and, you know, the only thing I can say is that the days feel shorter than past Pikmin games. But outside of that, it's not bad. 